Good morning girls. Today we are going to learn chapter number 6 indices. Now before I start with this chapter, I would like to start with a basic example. Just imagine I'm giving you a set of 5 books. Another set, another set and one more set. Now I'm asking you to tell me how many books do you have in all? What do you do? You simply add 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 gives you 20. But there is another short way of doing this and that is 5 into 4 is equal to 20. In the similar manner, when you have multiplication of a number by itself, you can express it in a shorter term using indices. Indices is made up of base and an index. So like I said, it is multiplication of number to itself. So I've taken the example of three, where three is multiplied by itself seven times. Now, instead of writing three into three into three seven times, I can in short write it as three raised to seven. Here, three is my base and seven is my index. Now, what is the meaning of base and index? Now, base is that number that I'm multiplying. And 7, that is my index, is indicating how many times I'm multiplying that particular number. So, I can read this as 3 raised to the power of 7 or 3 raised to 7 or the 7th power of 3. So, in a general term, if I have to stated, I can say when A is multiplied to itself m number of times, I can write it as A raised to m. Let's look at few more examples. 2 raised to 3 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 that is equal to 8. So here I can say that the value of 2 raised to 3 is 8. Another example 5 raised to 1 is equal to 5 because the index 1 is indicating that I need to write 5 how many times? Just one time. That means here value of 5 raised to 1 is 5. That means the first power of any number is the number itself. That means when I'm saying I have the index 1, the answer will always be the base itself. So in general terms, I can say that A raised to 1 is equal to A. Moving on to practice set 26. So the introduction that we learned of the concept, let's try to apply it in our sums. So you have a table given that is a sum number 1. Complete the table where you have column for indices, base, index, multiplication form and value. There are a few missing columns. You need to fill in those columns. So the first one is already solved for you. Look at the second sum. That is 16 raised to 3. The base is 16. My index is 3. The multiplication form, how many times am I going to multiply 16? I'm going to multiply it 3 times. So 16 into 16 into 16 and the answer is 4000. 96. Look at the third one. The indices is not given here, but the base and the index is given. So looking at this, I can frame my indices. So minus 8 raised to 2. The multiplication form will be minus 8 into minus 8. So 8 into 8 is 64. Minus into minus is plus. So plus 64 is 64. Going to the next one. The indices, the base, the index is not given, but the multiplication form is given to me. So the fraction here is 3 upon 7 and it is multiplied 4 times. So my indices will be 3 upon 7, the whole raised to 4. My base will be 3 upon 7 and my index is 4. The last one, minus 13 raised to 4, base is minus 13. Index is 4, multiplication form, 
13 minus 13 into minus 13 into minus 13 into minus 13 and the answer is 28,561. Now always remember when you are multiplying negative numbers, if you have even number of negative numbers, your answer will always be positive. Like here, you're multiplying minus 13 with itself. But how many negative numbers do you have? You have four negative numbers, which is even. And that is why your answer is positive. In the same manner, minus 8 into minus 8, you have two negative numbers here. Two is an even number, so your answer is positive. So when you're multiplying odd number of negative numbers, your answer or your value will always be negative. So that is one point for you to keep in your mind. Moving to question number two of the same practice set, find the value. So you need to find the value of the questions given below. Sum number one, two raised to 10. Index is 10. That means I have to multiply my base how many times? 10 times. So I write 2 into 2 into 2 how many times? 10 times. And the answer is 1024. So my final answer will be 2 raised to 10 is equal to 1024. Look at the third one. Minus 7 the whole raised to 4. So minus 7 into minus 7 into minus 7 into minus 7. Why did I multiply it 4 times? Because my index is 4. And the answer is 2401. Now, like I said earlier, I'm multiplying negative numbers, but there are even number of negative numbers. So my answer will be positive. Look at the next one. Sum number seven, it is a fraction four upon five, the whole raised to three. That will be equal to four upon five into four upon five into four upon five. Like you learn in fraction chapter, multiply all your numerators together, multiply your denominators together. So you get the answer. 64 upon 125 okay so now i have solved three sums from this exercise the remaining sum i'm giving it as homework now as i always tell in class once you understand the concept and you understand the pattern of solving every sum is easy to solve because it almost follows a particular pattern so solving will make you understand the sums in a better way so i'm giving you a few sums for homework let's move ahead with the chapter square and cube now let me give you an example three into three now your three is multiplied by itself two times that means i can write it as three raised to two or i can call it as three raised to two three raised to the power of two but there is another way of reading it and that is three squared or square of 3. In the similar manner, when I'm multiplying a number, like for example 5, it is being multiplied to itself 3 times. I can read it as 5 raised to 3 or 5 cubed or cube of 5. So in short, when I have the index as 2, it is the square of that number and when I have my index as 3, it is called as a cube of that particular number. The second power of any number, that is when the index is 2, is the square of that number. The third power of any number, that is when your index is 3, is the cube of that particular number. Multiplication of indices with the same base. Now, what if I want to multiply two indices? Like, for example, 2 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 3, but with one condition, that is, the base of both my indices is the same. So here the base is 2 for both. Now how do I multiply? So let's start simplifying one at a time. So 2 raised to 4 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 raised to 3 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. Count the number of 2's that you have. You have 7 2's. So I can in short write it as 2 raised to 7. Now try to correlate the index of your question to the index of your answer that you just got. You will notice that when I add my index, I get 2 raised to 7, which is my answer. So always remember, when the base is same and you're multiplying two indices, you can simply add the index to find the answer. So in general terms, I can say that a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus 
n so this is one law of indices now always remember the base should be same when you're doing this so let's try solving few sums based on this law that we just learned practice set 27 question number one simplify the first one is 7 raised to 4 into 7 raised to 2. The first thing I need to check is, is my base the same? Yes, it is the same and I have to multiply them. So I can simply add the index. That is 7 raised to 4 plus 2. Now, why did I write 4 plus 2? Why did I add the index? There must be a reason behind it. Yes, the reason is the law that we just learned. So I will write that in the bracket a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to n plus n. 4 plus 2 is 6, so I can write it as 7 raised to 6. Now, the question here is simplify. They're not telling you to find the value. They just told you to simplify and you have simplified it. So, I can write the final answer as 7 raised to 4 into 7 raised to 2 is equal to 7 raised to 6. Moving on to the next sum. Sum number 3, 6 upon 7, the whole raised to 3 into 6 upon 7, the whole raised to 5. Now, as I said, is the base the same? Yes, it is the same. It is multiplication. So, let's add the index. 6 upon 7, the whole raised to 3 plus 5. And the reason is a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. 3 plus 5 is 8. So my answer is 6 upon 7, the whole raised to 8. So I have solved two sums in this practice set. The remaining I'm giving for homework. Thank you girls. I hope you have understood everything that we have learned so far in this chapter. We will be learning about few more laws of indices in the next class. Till then, stay safe.